Hi, my name is Corey Johnson with DCS, and in today's walkthrough video, we're going to go over the restore backup function. Uh, before I do an explanation on that, we are going to create a scenario to which we need to use the restore backup function. So as you can see, I have two uh, model windows open here. The only difference here is on the left, I have an older version of DCS, uh, in this case, 7701. And on the right, I have a newer version of DCS, uh, in this case, 8000. You can see right here, these are the two versions I have open. 7701, 8000. So what I'm gonna do is first notice that this model is originally done in this older version, 7701. What I'm gonna do is open this model in the newer version, 8000. And I'm simply just gonna update the model. I can see my tree here and I'm going to save. So now this model is saved in the newer version of DCS. Now, before I get to the, the backup function here, uh, I'm gonna go to my preferences. And in general, tab here, we have, where my mouse is, we have the option to select automatic backup as well as the interval and on how many times or how often this backup file will be created. Uh, in this case, I believe the default is here is 60 uh, minutes. So every hour, uh, this model will be creating a backup file. So I'm gonna close out of that. And let's just show really quick. If you were to go to your C drive here, and then to users, and then to your name, in this case, my name is Corey Johnson. So I'm gonna go to C Johnson. And then I'm going to go to app data, local, DCS. And then you want to go to the version, or I'm sorry, the software platform that you are working in. In this case, I'm in Katia V5. And then there'll be a folder here that's called backup. And this is where all of your backup files have been saved. As you can see, I got a long list. I got quite a few models in here. Um, in this case, uh, I'm dealing with this conditional logic blocks model. Uh, as you can see, I got, you know, 20, 22 uh, backup files made. So when we use the restore backup function here in a bit, this is the folder actually that it is referencing. So I'm going to minimize that. And we have eight, the newer version here open, uh, and I've saved it in this newer version. And that is all I need to create this scenario to restore backup. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and close the model. I'm gonna move that to the side here. And I'm not gonna save here. So I'm just gonna, we have this grayed out. So now I have this older version of DCS open and I'm gonna try to now open that model again. And what's gonna happen is I'm going to get an error here that this model was saved in a newer version and the model, the update model cannot continue. So for those that don't know, you can open up a model in a newer version. You can always version up with DCS, but going back, this is when you have an issue like this. Going back is not as easy, but it can be easy using this restore backup function. So again, I'm in this older version. The first step to restoring this model is I'm gonna hit delete DCS data here under the update model tab. And I'm gonna say yes. And notice how everything's grayed out right now. But after I hit that del delete DCS data, I'm gonna hit update model and everything populates again. So I kind of get a fresh tree. Um, now at this point, I can use this restore model function here. I'm gonna hit restore backup. And as you can see, I have a list 
of all the backup files. And again, I'm, I'll pop this up again. That this backup folder that I went to earlier is what this restore backup is referencing. So in this case, uh, today is the 19th. I know that yesterday I saved this model correctly. Everything was good um, on the 18th. So I'm gonna scroll down and find, you know, 1-18, as I know that's the, you know, correct version of DCS. So I'm gonna select that and say, okay, and update my model. And now I have restored my model back to the older version. I can now rebuild, everything seems to be working. And I have successfully restored my model. Now this function, this restore backup function can be used not only for going back in versions, um, it actually has quite a few uh, practical uses uh, for, for really any instance that you can think of that you need to go back in time effectively. Um, uh, a, a good example would be um, that if your if your model becomes corrupted, which is which is rare, but it does happen, um, you're opening up your model and for whatever reason your DCS data is just not coming through or or your you know something's missing and your model just isn't working right, you can op open up that model. You can delete your DCS data and you can restore a backup to where you know, to a time where you know that your model was, you know, working correctly and everything was, was okay. Um, also, uh, which is another example, which would be a lot more common, is that you're working in your model and you're maybe, you, maybe you deleted some stuff um, that you thought you didn't need and you work for hours and, you know, you save your model over and over again. You do a bunch of work that you maybe necessarily didn't need to do. Um, and you need to revert your model back to a state before you made all those, you know, unnecessary changes. In, in that case, you can go back to your restore model. I'm sorry, your restore backup. Select your backup file. You could hit this again. You could go down to a time to where you knew your model was okay before you made all those unnecessary changes. Select it, say okay, and it'll revert your model back to... Uh, a time where you were happy with what was in your model before you deleted anything. So the restore backup has multiple functions. Um, just wanted to kind of go over that as some, some users aren't quite aware and kind of maybe freak out when uh, they do something or they lose something and they think their model's lost forever. It is not lost forever. You just got to know where to go and find the backup files. So I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.